So we saw that the thing that we set out in the beginning to get, we simply cannot have. And so that looks like catastrophic failure. Um, so uh, what do we do? Well, we could just be satisfied with M star, right? We could just not keep looking for uh, something that is a measure. Um, however, you will find, right, like several of the theorems that come up later on that we would like to have um, really require countable additivity in order to prove them. So it may be worth, you know, really struggling to find a way to get countable additivity if maybe we give up something that occurred in the proof that, that you know, this thing cannot exist, right? So maybe, you know, the proof depended on getting intervals right, translation invariance, uh, countable additivity. Um, can we give something up in order to obtain uh, a measure? Well, um, we would never give up getting intervals right. There's no way we're giving that one up because that's the whole project, right? I, that would just be giving, get, you know, uh, abandoning the whole project. Um, how about translation invariance? Well, if moving a set around changed its measure, uh, we just wouldn't call that a measure, right? We might call it something else that might, you know, there might be some kind of a function that's interesting that's like that, but it wouldn't be a measure. So, um, so that's just too fundamentally not what we're interested in right now. And, uh, so we wouldn't do that. We already, you know, M star already fails countable additivity, so abandoning that, that I mean, again, right, like we're, we're going through this struggle precisely because we wouldn't want to do this. So what's left, right? It makes it look like there is nothing left. But in fact, there is one place left that we could give up or uh, amend or whatever which is the very sort of nature of the function, right? Recall that the function was assumed to be defined on the entire set of, uh, or on the entire power set of the real numbers. So in fact, what we might do is, you know, if you think, think, of, it, think of it this way, um, the entire problem came from the fact that we had weird sets of real numbers, right? Those feathers were weird, right? Uh, you know, I mean, I didn't discuss it and I still don't want to discuss it, but it does depend on the axiom of choice. You have to make these sort of like crazy chaotic choices of representatives from the various cells and blah, blah, blah. And when you get that feather and all the other feathers, those are pretty weird sets, right? You know, again, the, the idea behind them was that in some sense, they are a subset that almost is equivalent to the entire set, which is weird. Um, so maybe because the real numbers are weird, maybe we won't try to measure all of them. We will actually compromise on the domain of the function. And so maybe we'll try to get a measure which is defined on some S, which is a subset of the power set. Um, and, you know, okay, well, th this is a terrible looking diagram, but, you know, again, right, so we'll still say that uh, that it produces non-negative extended real numbers, but, right, so, so, you know, here perhaps we could compromise, right? We you know, maybe we will agree to measure intervals and unions of intervals and maybe even other sorts of things like complements and so, right, like, so, you know, start from the intervals and then take sort of sensible, well-behaved uh, combinations of those elements with each other, maybe sort of like close it under certain operations um, and, and only on those elements will we attempt to define our measure? Uh, and so I'm calling it this like cursive S symbol. Um, but so then that kind of motivates making very clear 
what kinds of properties we demand to have on any, on any collection of sets of real numbers uh, in order to know that it is a so-called measurable set. And so that's the pro, right? That's effectively what a sigma algebra is going to be. I'll define that uh, formally shortly. But effectively, a sigma algebra will encode uh, the well-behavedness of the subset of real numbers that we select in order to attempt to measure them. 